All right, so let's practice that um, to, to predict how much uh, radioactivity would remain or how much time. In this case, tritium, uh, tritium is sometimes formed in the primary coolant water of a nuclear reactor, and it's a beta emitter with a half-life of 12.3 years. So for a given sample containing tritium, after how many years will only, only about 12% about of the radioactivity remain? So given the, um, the, the uh, half-life, the question is, uh, how long will it take to only have 12% of the original value? So from here we know that one half-life, and the abbreviation is T1 half, that commonly um, T1 half is equal to half-life. So after one half-life, um, that means half of the sample remains. And in this case, that would be 50% uh, uh, of the sample would remaining. And then after two half-lives, two half-lives, um, only one-fourth is going to remain, and that would be 25% remaining of the original sample. After three half-lives, that would mean one-eighth, because it's one-half of one-fourth would remain, and that's about 12%. So it's 12.5, but they said about, so about 12%. So for estimating here, um, one half-life takes 12.3 years, so it would be 12.3 years plus 12.3 years plus 12.3 years, or 3 times 12.3 times 12.3 years equals about um, 36.9, which is about 40 years. So I would say, to answer this question, after about 40 years, 12% of the radioactivity would remain. So this starts giving you a clue as to why um, uh, nuclear waste from power plants is a problem because you create all of these uh, radioactive isotopes that takes varying amounts of times to, um, to, to, for those isotopes to no longer be radioactive.